Thank you for watching Scary Animal Attacks. If you like this episode, please remember to hit the like button and leave a comment or two. Then subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications whenever we release new episodes. Thank you for watching Scary Animal Attacks. Today's episode whisks us away to the rural region of Chiramanzu in central Zimbabwe in Africa, to a village called Bulawayo. The topography of Zimbabwe is unique as the entire country slants up toward the west. The eastern lands are lower in elevation and receive more rainfall and steadier temperatures. The western portion can be over a mile high in elevation and varies from the mid-50s to the mid-70s in temperature. The western portion also has a distinction between the rainy and dry seasons that is not as dramatic as the eastern portion. Although most of this nation is savanna, which is open grasslands with sparse trees, there are forests of evergreen and teak trees in places. Animals that are common in the savanna include elephants, wildebeest, innumerable antelope species, lions, and the animal with the hilarious laugh, the hyena. On Friday, November 20th of 2020, 46-year-old Tinde Masika was finishing up a night of drinking beer at a nearby bar. He walked home late at night and immediately went to bed to sleep off the libations. Ever since the COVID-19 pandemic stopped the tourists from coming to his area, things have been hard and money even rarer than normal. The dry season always brings attention to the savannah, but this year, local reports of missing goats and cattle are on the rise. Animals become more concentrated around water resources in the dry season, which puts territorial animals at odds and competing for prey. They have to invade another pack or pride's territory, or they must stay on their own territory and somehow get by. Tendai has watched this cycle play out many times over his life. Tendai's walk home in the dark was without human company, but there was non-human company. The local hyena clan has been watching the man slip through the darkness, and the opportunity he presents does not go unnoticed. They follow him from a short distance and watch as he flips the door to his mud hut open and forgets to secure it completely. As Tende drank his beer, the resident hyena clan searched for food. The dry season has emptied their territory of most of their typical prey, and they've been encroaching on farms of the area, killing livestock. But they're about to do something that will change the clan's relationship with the farmers forever. The clan cautiously approaches ever closer to his home. They smell the human inside, and their empty stomachs churn with the idea of having something to eat. The clan slowly approaches the closed door to his house and peer inside through the lattice of the door. They can see in the dark, and their sense of smell and hearing are very acute. But right now, their hunger is what is driving them. As the boldest of the clan approach the door, it slides open, and it wasn't very well secured. Ten days' scent fills their nostrils, and once the attack starts, it only gains momentum. The clan converges on him, and his screams fill the air. The clan drag him by his leg outside, where the frenzied attack culminates with Tindy's fight for life being overcome by the clan's pursuit of the same. In the morning, a neighboring farmer walks by Tindy's hut and sees something peculiar a short distance away. As she approaches this oddity, she sees the horrific sight of Tindy's severed head resting on the grass. She runs to get help from her elders. There's a small group of the area men who approach Tende's hut, and they inspect the inside while trying to confirm the girl's story. The inside of his hut is splattered with his blood, and the men see drag marks leading from his front door. All around his hut, hyena tracks begin to tell the story of the night's events. As the men follow the drag trail, they can see pools of blood where the clan apparently stopped to tear pieces from his body. They carry on further along the drag trail and come to find Tende's severed head, just as the girl said. An inspection of the area yields one of his arms, then another. It appears the hyena clan was chewing off ten days' appendages from his body as they dragged him along. Finally, they come to his severed legs and observe the scattered hyena tracks and scat all around the spot where they consumed his body over the night. They collected the remaining body parts and buried them. The hyena used their extremely powerful jaws to consume his hip and shoulder bones, but didn't consume his arms, leg, or head before the men could gather them up. The hyena clan dragged Tende's body just over 1,000 feet as they stopped to consume a portion of him here or there. The authorities immediately dispatched government hunters to eliminate the clan of six hyenas who live in the area and were immediately suspected of the attack. No further sources could be found that indicate whether the hunters' efforts were fruitful or if they failed. 
This attack was one of the 60 human fatalities in 2020 in Zimbabwe caused by wildlife, and the third by hyenas after two siblings were killed while picking fruit. Thank you for watching Scary Animal Attacks, and be careful out there, because you don't want to end up on an episode of Scary Animal Attacks.